and when I'm bringing him in, I support his little bottom so he doesn't drag. And then I take him and I face, face his feet towards the wall, like so. He likes to put his little front feet on the wall. <clears throat> put him all the way on the wall. And then I like to have no shoes on, so I give him a little head rub. <clears throat> I take his tail and I put it under my knee so it doesn't get pee all over it. And then I stretch him because his leg gets stiff because he can't bend them. So I do stretches all the way out slowly and then back in. And then I give him a little nuzzle with my toe and he's happy. All the way out, back in, all the way out, and back in. Maybe like four times, just to give his legs a nice stretch. Because if you don't do this, his legs will get permanently stiffened into um, the position of like, like this. And then I, these little feet, regular cat feet go like that. So the only way to ever allow his feet to have that kind of mobility if ever he walks again is to make his, is to exercise his little feet so that they don't lose the ability to ever turn. So I take his little feet and I move them like a little cat foot would go just to exercise them so they're not permanently stuck. And then I might also just give a nice little push here so that each leg, see they're getting kind of stiff, and there's reflexes. So this leg will, I push one in and the other one will fly out. He's got a little bandage on because sometimes either through rug burn or he gets nervous and he pulls out a little fur and it starts to get red pinkish like it's going to get bloody because he sometimes licks when he's nervous and can lick himself raw. So as soon as I see there's a little pink spot coming, I put a little band-aid on it. And he actually likes that. He'll start purring when I'm putting the band-aid on because he knows that it's going to protect him from getting bloody. Anyway, so now you only have so much time before he gets sick of being in this position. So now it's time to squeeze. So I take the little paws, take the little legs, and I bring them into that position. And then I put my hand right down here in the middle. And there's like a, feels like kind of like a shape of a, kind of like a lemon or something. And you get behind the water balloon kind of feeling in here. And then you squeeze. Here it comes. Whoops, it's easy. Maybe. There. And there comes the pee. And you want to try to get behind it. There's some more. And there's some more. And then, after I get a few good squirts, then it's like milking a cow. And I get a bunch of squirts. And I keep squirting until I can feel that there's no more fluid in there. And it takes, you have to really Kind of make sure you get every little bit out because if you don't get it all out it becomes like a little cesspool in there and that's what causes infections so you can see i'm getting every little bit out almost all of it out and now you might think we're done well oh so now i'm not getting any more drops out and just so he doesn't get just you know too frustrated with me i give him a little nuzzle with my foot and then um, I can get poop out of him too. Um, some people, my husband doesn't bother with that. But so when I'm getting poop out, I let his tail go free because he needs the tail to use the muscles to help leverage the poop. Now to get the poop, I reach up further and I can feel where there's little balls of poop in his, in his insides. And I let him has, use my hand to push on. And then I encourage him, go on kitty cat, push out that poop, come on honey. Come on, use your tail. Come on, come on, help. Come and help. And then sometimes he'll help me and he'll start swinging his tail to and fro to push out the poop. Come on, come on, kitty cat. Give it a shot. Come on, honey. You're a good boy. Come on, come on, push out the poop, kitty. Come on. I don't always get poop. We'll see if we do today or not. Come on, kitty cat. You can do it. You can do it. You can see that his anus is starting to get a little bit puckery. That means there's probably some poop coming. Here it comes. Here comes the poop. Good job, kitty. Good job. Push hard now. Push hard. Use your tail. Come on. That's it. You help me out. Use that tail. Good boy. 
There's a good boy. Look at that big poop. What a good job you did. And then I wipe him and off, he's, off he goes. And then he gets treats because he did a very good job. <laughs> okay. All right, all done.